Dragon Ball Z Kakarot was a game that's been on my radar since I heard of it. I've always wanted a full-on RPG retelling of the series. Kakarot aims to be that. But it was a bit of an appetizer set of a full-course meal that I've always wanted. Impossible! D this can't be happening! Story. Now it's kind of difficult to rate this story. Do I go by how accurate it is to the show? Or do I pretend I've never seen anything of the show? Well, as someone who is not a fan of the stories that differ from the canon of Dragon Ball, I guess I'll go by accuracy. First and foremost, this game goes into more detail overall than any Dragon Ball Z console game ever. Although there is a couple key moments that are just gone. You know, the infamous over 9,000 or 8,000, whatever it is. Yeah, well that's not in the game. Cutscenes are really hit or miss. Some of them are just gorgeous, absolute perfection. Others are just the character models standing in place over dialogue boxes. The side missions are just mostly garbage. And I say mostly because some of them do expand on the lore. But most are just fest missions with a lot of loading screens. And these loading screens take forever. Now the game starts at Raditz arriving and goes through the Boo Saga. You'll get roughly 12 to 15 plus hours with the story is what I'd guess. I did a little bit more than just the main story. I did some of the side missions as well. But there are some that bugs me here. If you're going to make a full-fledged Dragon Ball game about the story, how about you start an OG Dragon Ball? Don't skip the first third of the Dragon Ball story and maybe go through Super. You might as well throw GT in there as well. I don't know how you would do it, but I'm sure there's a way to do it. It just baffles me how there's virtually no love for OG Dragon Ball and consoles, and there is absolutely no Dragon Ball Super Story video game out there. On top of that, for side missions, Goku literally travels the world multiple times when he's a kid. You can easily fill in the gap with some side missions. It just seems like such a missed opportunity. Presentation. I mentioned earlier how the graphics in some cutscenes are better than others. But even then, the graphics are pretty solid. The sound is the best part of the game, though. <laughs> you got the OG Dragon Ball Z Japanese score, fantastic voice acting, mixed with uh, some good sound effects, and you got a fantastic sound design. Environments are also great. You got the standard Dragon Ball map at your disposal, landmarks, and all. I love flying by the place where Vegeta gets his butt kicked by 18. Although, I do wish that they would uh, have a little bit less enemies and that they would shut up about every single waterfall that they w fly by. Waterfalls. Love them for training, that is. Gameplay. Yikes. Okay, imagine a game where you have lots of activities to do, but they were all super generic and boring and, for the most part, useless. No, I'm not talking about Skyrim. That game is actually good. I'm not talking about GTA 4 either. This is even more bare bones. Combat is basically three buttons. Some of the major boss fights, aka story fights, can be good at times, but the generic fights are just a snooze. You can train, which is pointless. You can cook, which is pointless. You can fish, which is both ridiculous and pointless. Drive cars, which is pointless, but a nice nod to the TV show. You can jump in robotic mechs for some reason. Okay. You can collect the Dragon Balls, so you can fight past bosses, which I guess is cool. The Soul Board game, whatever it's called, I can't seem to remember off the top of my head. You know, it's pretty cool, but again, it's, it, it's kind of pointless. This game is also super repetitive. Any encounter side mission is almost always with those red ribbon robots. The game just isn't really fleshed out anyway in gameplay perspective. And when you're facing more than one enemy, the game just falls apart. Conclusion. I know I sounded pretty harsh at times, but I do overall like this game. It just makes me want it to be more fleshed out. Start with OG Dragon Ball. Maybe make the world bigger. Maybe have two combat methods. One is more like the Batman games while exploring, and one is more like the Tenkaichi fights while you're in a big story fight. 
until then, Kakarot is a good, solid start. But if they make a sequel, please expand on the mechanics, because you got something here. Just take it the next leap forward. Overall, I give Dragon Ball Z Kakarot a 6.9 out of 10. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you stay safe out there with the whole Corona stuff going around. Stay inside, like and subscribe for more reviews, hopefully in the future, and more playthroughs.